And now it's time for me to introduce Francesca Pic and Benjamin Tank, who are the coaches of WishFS this year and who have been doing an amazing job over the last four months. They're going to introduce you, WishFS and WishFS. Good morning, everyone. It's amazing to see so many of you here today. We're really, really honored that you're willing to join us on what we all think is going to be a very exciting adventure for the next three days. So I remember one year ago standing here and being really, really overwhelmed at all the contributions we had received to this event. We sure fest 13. It didn't only give us a lot of great ideas and new inspiration, but it brought us so many new people. It was a huge enrichment to our community, and it brought us many new faces. For instance, a lot of volunteers from last year are actually part of the core organization team this time. For instance, Diana, Arthur, and David. So We Share Fest 13, it really invigorated us to launch all kinds of projects around the world. We continued to build our community with a tour through Europe and South America and many events. We expanded our think tank with a shared research project with the organization La Fing, who are also here today. We started a first incubated project called the We Share Job Board. We actually have a live job board here as well that you can use. And we also began to engage with policymakers in Brussels. We did all of this to great success. But Let me tell you one thing about WeShare. If there's one thing we don't lack, it's ambition, it's enthusiasm, and a lot of passion. But as I'm sure you know, being passionate also has its drawbacks. Because while we've been doing all of these things, which is really a lot, we've also been trying to stay true to our values and continue to grow WeShare as a community that's organic, horizontal, and distributed. And so the challenge that we've seen is that it's very difficult to be able to do all of this while also being able to support the members that are creating value for the organization. So today we've realized in the last year that despite WeShare's very agile and fluid structure, we have the need for more structure. And so what really we've been thinking about a lot in the last year and some of the important questions that we're asking ourselves is what kind of structure do we need? What kind of economic model can you create for an organization that is open, distributed, that should encourage voluntary and spontaneous contributions? And also, what is the right structure for an organization in the 21st century? the 21st century, which might be the age of communities. So I'm sure you might think this all sounds a little idealistic, but uh, I assure you, we are very invigorated and full of energy to explore these questions with you for the next three days. So um, to get you an overview of what really expects you, I'm going to pass the, uh, the, pass the mic to my co-chair, Benjamin. Thanks, Francesca. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to see uh, all of you here. So what can you expect for these three days? Well, first, I can tell you that it's going to be very intense. You're going to work a lot. But the, the good news is that there will be a big party at the, at the end to celebrate all this. So stay until the very end. Um, so similarly to last year, basically, we have uh, asked uh, within the community for many proposals and contributions for the program. And we received like, so many of them that we are completely overwhelmed. So it has been a very big challenge to uh, select them and, um, and um, uh, build a program around all this. But uh, we are pretty happy with the result. Uh, so I'm very excited to see you uh, uh, in the different sessions for, the, for these three days. Uh, basically, this year, we have not organized the program by uh, topics or formats. But instead, we try to focus on the, the moods of the different sessions. So basically, you have five moods. Inspire, debate, co-create, um, connect, and play. So you can uh, find them in the, the little leaflets, the program you got in your, in your welcome bag. You can check uh, what exactly this means and, uh, and what are the different sessions with these moods. 
So we have like uh, 150 amazing speakers and contributors to the program that came from all over the world and so many countries. And we are really uh, happy to have all of them here. Um, some will inspire you with uh, their thinking, their projects, or their amazing uh, experience in building new things. Others will probably spark uh, debates and conversation around um, uh, key issues, sometimes controversial issues of the collaborative economy, like this afternoon, for instance. Uh, and others will invite you to join them for uh, really hands-on workshops, interactive sessions, to co-create together uh, new ideas, knowledge, uh, connections, projects, or even tangible uh, objects and products. So because like this is one of the highlights of the program this year. So if you go outside, in one of the two big tents, we have um, what we call the Wisher Factory. It's a, a pop-up uh, maker space in which you will find uh, tools and many workshops to produce open source uh, beehives, greenhouses, uh, or even computers and windmills, for instance. Um, but, uh, and then, um, so it, it's cool to inspire, to co-create, to, to, um, to debate. But one of the most important things we would like for you during these three days is to connect together. Uh, 